about the idea of burning new neural pathways because about five years ago so I had written a script for um, a teenage video about staying away from things like pornography. And I'd read this whole study how pornography burns new neural pathways, which is why it's so addictive, um, that it burns negative neural pathways. And I was like, oh my gosh, that freaked me out. I'll never forget that. And so when I read this, I was like, oh, that's really true. You can burn positive. I really believe that. You can burn positive. And the negatives can, can wither away. So you said a couple things that are important, and that is that this idea of neuroplasticity or burning these pathways, maybe creating these pathways um, in teenagers. First of all, it happens much more readily the younger we are, mm -hmm. but it happens throughout our lifetimes. But it, it really calls to our attention the fact that we really need to be front and center about what's going on with our children. As I mentioned on Fox News this morning, when kids are spending hours at, at, at a time playing these aggressive video games where there's somebody around every corner ready to kill you. And that doesn't end when they turn the, the monitor off. That is burned, as you say, into their brains and affects them throughout the course of their lifetimes. They begin, their brain begins to perceive that around the next corner is something aggressive going to happen, that life is threatening. And as we talk about really kind of extensively in the book, it feeds to the primitive brain, the fight or flight brain, that the world is a threatening place. And as I said on, on the program this morning, uh, this is, you know, we feed to this as adults with the media. We turn it on in the morning that the world is falling apart, that there's wars here and the economy and everything is bad. And if you don't get enough of it in your hotel room, by the time you get to, you know, when you get into the lobby where the monitors are still there telling you that the world is terrible, that everything's negative, it, but it was incredible in our hotel room uh, this morning, as we got out of the hotel, got I mean, room, and went into the elevator, it's still there. There's a monitor in the, in the elevator in case the world isn't bad enough and you might have a moment of positivity. No, it's not going to happen. There's Moammar Gaddafi in the elevator with me just, you know, uh, that the world is falling apart. And my suggestion is that we pay huge amounts of attention to what we're feeding our children in terms of media and in terms of their activities. Mm -hmm. And that um, this feeds into the idea of, of stress and enhancing those pathways. We can powerfully enhance the negative pathways that stimulate the adrenal gland day in and day out and produce cortisol mm -hmm. that enhances this whole what we call feed forward process. Ultimately we create brains, we create a whole physiology that feeds on negativity and seeks out negativity, and we can break that mm -hmm. cycle mm -hmm. by choosing to embrace the positive, by choosing to make connections to those physical parts of the brain that see the world in a different way and can make us the people we want to be.